Hello and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn pivot tables. Pivot table is one of the most powerful tools in Excel that can be used for data analysis. This tutorial has something for everyone, whether you are a beginner looking to understand the basics or a seasoned user aiming to refine your skills. We'll cover everything step by step. You can download a copy of this Excel file in the description box if you like to follow along. Let's get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on my latest tips and tricks. Let's dive in. This dataset contains comprehensive sales information for Adidas company across all its retailer outlets in the United States for the years 2020 and 2021. We see that there are six retail outlets. From Amazon to Westgear, there is an information on retailer ID, invoice date, state, gender type, product category, price per unit, unit sold, total revenue. Total revenue equals price per unit times unit sold. Lastly, sales method. Before proceeding to create pivot tables, it is important to ensure there are no empty rows in your data. If you find any empty rows, make sure to remove them. First, convert the dataset into a table if you want to perform a pivot table analysis. Click any cell in the data and go to Insert, then to Table. Check, my table has headers. Let's rename the table to sales data. This is the name of the table. We can change it. Now, let's start the pivot table. Go to insert again, then to pivot table. That is the name we gave to the table. We choose where we want to place the pivot table. Let go for new worksheet. On the left hand side, it says build a report. Choose fields from pivot table field list. Under the pivot table field, we have all the headers in our table. Filter section, that can be used to filter. Column, if we want column labels. Rows, if the label are to be in rows. Lastly, values. This is where all the analysis is performed. For example, drag and drop the variable retailer to the rows and total revenue to vols. Retailer's name shows in a row with total revenue of each. This is the power of pivot table. Delect a variable by click on remove or dragging it out from the box. Let's try another one, retailers and total revenue. You may notice that the pivot table field list disappears when you click anywhere outside the pivot table on the Excel sheet. If you want to create another table, simply copy the first table and paste it wherever you want to create the new table. You can now remove or delete its variables and insert a new table. This time, let's consider the invoice date in this example. Notice how Excel intelligently recognizes the invoice date and groups it by year, quarter, month, and even day for all retailers. This showcases the power of pivot tables. Let's match this with unit sold. Amazing results. For example, check Amazon, 
we have the total sales for the year 2021, followed by quarterly sales, then monthly sales, and finally daily sales. This is same for all other retailers. Let me remove some of the invoice date variables. We can also add variables to the column side. For each year and each retailer, we have the quantity sold for all the sales methods. Let's add the variable gender type to the columns. See the result. For each sales method, we now have categories for men and women. We can also analyze the data even at state level. Thanks for watching our pivot table tutorial. We hope it was helpful. If you have questions, leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. If you found the video useful, like it and subscribe for more tips. Hit the notification bell to stay updated. Keep exploring and enhancing your data analysis skills with pivot tables. See you in the next video.